Okay, now I've come a hidden back way uh, from the other side of the statue. There's Kanan. Okay, and down here uh, is a little play place for kids. They had uh, some mini uh, go-karts over there and back that direction uh, is a little mock train the kids can ride and whatnot. Uh, they take cars down that way and you could go down that way but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down a little hidden path here because I think this is the better way to go walking through the trees here. The stone steps. You can tell a lot of people haven't been here because the greenery is kind of grown up around everything. See that tree that's kind of hanging over the path here? <laughs> I gotta duck through the tree. Okay, somebody make a pun here about rocky starts. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop and brush off my arm. I walked right into a spider web full of ants. Woohoo! Oh man, listen to that water move. See all the butterflies and the dragonflies flying around? Tell me this is not beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Place to take a break there. But we are going to continue this direction. Oops. Looks like the stones are a bit slippery, we're going to have to be careful. Or maybe not. I'm seeing some of that moss covering down there. I know there's a whole bunch of spider webs right in front of me. You guys might not be able to see them, but I can. I'm not sure I want to keep walking through spider webs today. We're going to come back and go this way. <laughs> Change my mind. Let's go this way. Whoa. Slippery one wet. Kind of see the bridge over there in the distance. Here's the waterfall we were just looking at. Beautiful. I think, maybe we can get down this way, maybe not, I'm going to go up this path, unless I can, oh hey, great idea Gravener, Boy Scout, Boy Scout time. This stick is going to help me get down that path over there. Here we go. How does a stick help you say? Well, when you know you're about to hit a whole bunch of spider webs, this is the rock I slipped on earlier. I'm going to be careful going across it. When you know you're about to hit a whole bunch of spider webs, a stick is a good way to get rid of them before you do. There we go. Look at that. So long, spiders. And they're still hanging on to me. So check that side out. That's beautiful. I know sometimes the camera's going in funny directions and I apologize for that. That's just me trying to get rid of some of these spider webs in my way. Yep. Going down a slippery slope again here. Another spider web stop. Sorry about that.
There we go. Whoa, that was a big web, yuck. And here we are. Ugh. All right, we made it. There's a little restaurant down here. I don't know if they're open. I don't see anybody. A little rest area here. Okay. But where we're going is this way. The bridge. Oh, man. This is really feeling like a ghost town and it scares me a bit. Because number one, this is a cool place. Number two, it's one of my favorite places. And if they don't get some customers back again like they had, the beauty that is this place is gonna be closed up. But anyway, enough of that negative thought process. Here we go, how about some fish food? Let's go feed the fish faces, shall we? Gotta get my 100 yen coin out. Lift up the gate here. Drop my coin in. Grab some food. Oh, my coin didn't fall in here. Hang on a second. There we go. Drop my coin in. And now we go feed the fish faces. And they're ready, look at this. I haven't even done anything and already we got a whole bunch of us say, hey, there's a human there. Let's get some food. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down for just a second here. Hi, put the camera down for just a second here Ugh. so that I can open up my package. Whoop, some of the food falling already. Can you hear that sound? That's the fish going after the food. Kind of disgusting, isn't it? There we go. All right. Now then, I dropped a couple of pellets and they're fighting for them. Literally. Literally fighting, trying to crawl over each other to get to the food. Here we go. <laughs> How about if I throw some over there? Watch this. If I come up over here, watch this mass. I'm gonna throw over here to my left. Watch the entire mass of fish move at the same time. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice one right there. That black and white head one, that was kinda nice. How about out there? Look at them fight. Oh, gotta get back in the water, guys. <laughs> Last little bit, I'm sorry. There we go. Feeding the fish. <laughs> That's all, boys. Girls. Fish. <laughs> all right, so. Heading over here, let me throw my little wrapper away. There we go. Over the river and through the woods to Izumura we go, or maybe not. Okay, last time I was here, which was only about four years ago, this bridge uh, had been painted. Uh, it was uh, beautiful. The wood well, it wasn't completely brand new, but it was close. And now look at it falling apart. And there she is, Kanan Sama, overlooking the Aizu Basin. No wonder, can't imagine what it would be like to be somebody who's, who doesn't know that statue's there and walking through the woods and looking up and all of a sudden, Wah! where'd that big head come from? <laughs> My second year here, I believe, uh, one of the kindergartens I worked at 
we took a school trip and I got to come with them over here. It was my second time in the Izumuda and we brought some tarps with us. Tarped out here in this huge open space. Had our lunch, etc. The kids played over here next to this pond, which also has some koi in it. Japanese carp. Check out that white one. He's like, he's already, he's like, food. Hey, hey, there's a human here. Hey, there's a human here. Maybe it gives food. Food. Feed us. The white one's, that white one's beautiful though. Anyway. Let's head this direction. Come some more carp. They must feel I'm here or something. I don't know. We see all of them. There they come. Look at that. They're all heading toward me, aren't they? Feed us! Feed us! Fish heads. Okay, so here's a little bit of. Uh, Historical section of, of Aizumura. Here we have an old rice grinding mill. Okay, the water wheel would uh, the water wheel would turn, and it would lift up those pedestals there that would pound anything from rice to wheat to buckwheat. Uh, usually, rice is pounded into something called mochi, which I think I've talked about before, but it's very good. Didn't think they had modern cars back in the old feudal village, but that's okay. <laughs> Go down into the uh, museum here. Okay, all these items were things that were used in the old villages. Hoes and axes and picks and sleds and sleighs and Oh, these things are cool. Um, these are mallets for making mochi. Um, when you get together for a festival and a whole bunch of people get together, you you make mochi by hand instead of by the water wheel like it was back there. Um, they cook the rice and they make it really soggy and then you pound the rice in these wooden bowls with these mallets. Mallets are heavy. They're about seven pounds a piece. I won't take you upstairs because upstairs is more of just what's here. But I did want to show you these. These are older kimonos. Aizu is a very cold area in the wintertime. And these things are thick, very thick. There's my finger, okay? Kind of like blankets that you wear. <laughs> the original Snuggies! I've been doing originals all week this week. We had the original Bobblehead, the, the uh, what was the other original? I don't remember, but now we have the original Snuggie. There you go. Ha! Huh. Snuggie isn't an original thing. The Japanese had it done first. Uh. Alright, I'm coming up to about 14 and a half on this one, so... I'm going to take a quick break and when I get back, we're going to go see the sleeping Buddha. See